What you're about to see is an original short film called Through Her Eyes, produced by the Times Square Church creative team for our Easter services in 2023. The film follows the biblical character Martha in a time of mourning in the days between Jesus' crucifixion and Jesus' resurrection. Whether you're feeling burdened, burned out, or in need of a second chance, this is for you. Jesus sees you just like he saw Martha. Here's her story through her eyes. Martha. Martha. God is my refuge and my strength. A very present help in time of trouble. Eloi, lema sawakhani. Therefore I will not fear, though the earth shakes and the mountains slip into the heart of the sea. Will you forget me forever? <laughs> Mary? Can you help me? Mary? Please tell my sister to help me. She listens to you. Martha. Martha. Rest. Like your sister, free from worry. I won't take that from her, Martha. Martha. Two owned by me from me and with Thea. How can this be? Am I too late? Send for Jesus. It's Lazarus. He's dying. Lord. If you had been here, you could have helped my brother. Where were you?
What kind of love is this? The Son of God who leaves us to suffer? Four days. It's been four days. If you had been here. Even still, God listens to you. Your brother will rise again. I know. At the end of time, he will be resurrected. I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will live, even if they die. Do you believe in me? Lazarus, come out. You who brought life back to my brother. Could you not have saved yourself? To have sat at your feet. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Olaheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Hashem Kavol Dmahut O Leolam Vahad. Lord, why do you feel so far? Adonai! Help me! Here. Give me your bag. I don't understand. You must bear it no more. Martha. Martha. It's him. He's alive. Are they sure? Are they sure it was him? He said he appeared in a locked room. Nail scars on his hands. Where are you going? I have work to do.
You've never gone too far that God can't redeem you, restore you, forgive you, and give you a second chance. Through Her Eyes is an amazing story of a second chance. It's what we all need. The part that I love about this movie is this. When it opens, Martha is working while Jesus is waiting for her to come to her knees. But she got a second chance after the resurrected Jesus invites Martha to relieve her of her burden, she goes to her knees in the presence of Jesus. She doesn't have to work to find his love. She doesn't have to work to find his favor. She doesn't have to work to be in his presence. So many people are trying to work to find God's love. And Martha's the story that you can get, have another chance. And that chance is just come to the feet of Jesus. What does that mean? It's Jesus calling for a brand new relationship. Some of you that are watching this have tried so many different ways to make God love you, but I've got good news for you. He already loves you. I don't think Martha realized that because Martha was the one that was trying to prepare everything for Jesus and Jesus just wanted her to be in his presence. Mary figured it out, but Martha didn't. But at the resurrection, Martha got a second chance. And this is time for your second chance. You can come to Jesus. You don't have to work to be there. The work has already been done. That's what the crucifixion is. All other religions say do. Christianity says done. When Jesus says it is finished, Jesus said he did the work for you. It's a relationship that God's calling you to. It's a relationship away from religion into that place and presence of Jesus Christ. That can happen today. Because you don't have to work to have Jesus in your life, it's receiving him, it's accepting him. And Jesus calls that relationship being born again. And that can happen right now. What does born again mean? Born again means this, just as you had a first birth physically, Jesus says you can have a second birth, it's like a second chance spiritually. It's when God comes into our life and changes us from the inside out. That can happen to you today. Just like Martha found Christ, you can find Christ. Even through this short movie, this short film, maybe somebody sent you a link. Maybe somebody just began to tell you about this short film called Through Her Eyes. Maybe you just found it showing up on a feed on YouTube, but today your life changes, not from watching a film, but from letting Christ come in and change you from the inside out. How do I become born again, you may ask. I love to tell people it's as simple as A, B, C. Those three letters, the three letters that we talk to children about, and it's not meant to sound elementary, but really for simplicity. Each one of those letters stand for an important word. A, admit, admit that we're all sinners. We're all broken on the inside. The day that we were born, we all had a condition, it was called sin, and none of us can fix it ourselves. There's not a prescription, there's not a program, and there's not a promise you can make that can fix the sinful condition. We were all born with sin in our hearts and lives that God can fix. Only God can fix it. Well, how does that happen? It happens by B, believing that God sent his son 2,000 years ago to fix my sinful condition. 
How did he do it? He became my sin bearer. He became your sin bearer. See, Jesus died the death I was supposed to die, lived the life I couldn't live, and gave me forgiveness and a reward that I didn't deserve. Only God can do that. It's by believing in his son. That's what Martha did. And finally, see, it's confessing him as Lord. That's what happens when you come to his feet. It's the posture of, you're in charge of my life now. The book of Romans says this, that we are to make Jesus Lord, which means that Jesus didn't die on that cross and resurrect just to simply get you to church on a Sunday and to sit in a seat or in a cathedral or in a synagogue or in a mosque. Jesus died 2000 years ago to get you to heaven forever with him. And that can happen to you today. If you want to make that decision, if you want Christ to change you, if you're ready to come and say, I can't work to make God love me anymore. His death on the cross was the very, was the very thing that said, I love them. I heard one person say this, someone asked Jesus, how much do you love them? And he held out his arms like on a cross and said, I love them this much and died for you. If you want to pray that prayer, say this with me, dear Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that on the cross, you took my sin, my shame, and my guilt, and you died for it. You faced hell for me, so I wouldn't have to go. You rose from the dead to give me a place in heaven, a purpose on earth, and a relationship with your Father. Today, Lord Jesus, I turn from my sin to be born again. God is my Father. Jesus is my Savior. The Holy Spirit is my helper. And heaven is now my home. In Jesus' name, amen. You have made the greatest decision of your life. You chose to be born again. God bless you.